Preston nil, Arsenal free. We're through to the next round of the League Cup and hopefully we can bring it home, people. We're in it. We might as well try win it. I know we want Prems, we want Champs, we want FA Cups. But yeah, any trophy you can win for this young kind of group of players is good. Now, for me, my immediate reactions, you know, Ethan Nomwery, sizzling goal from him. You know, credit to Sterling and Gabriel Zeus for their build-up in that goal. But a fantastic strike. And I like the fact that he appeared a bit peed off because I think he could have, you know, I actually think he, 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 he did well, but I think he started the game with a couple of sloppy touches got up to speed very quickly got cramped towards the end scored a banger probably could have scored some more but looked really comfortable I think everybody out there I think Raheem Sterling had a we'll get on to it but a better second half than he did first but I think everybody did well out there man you know no injuries even though we still saw Saka and Partey and Saliba get 90 minutes going into the Newcastle game on the topic of Newcastle they've dumped Chelsea out Spurs at the time of making this video are 2-1 up against City if City go out you know, it makes it a level playing field. Don't get it twisted. I hope that City turned that around. By no means am I one of those Arsenal fans like last year that's cheering on Spurs. But staying with this game, we won the game. We scored the goals. We're through to the next round. I think towards the end of the first, uh, second half, apologies, you know, there was a couple of openings from Preston. Had their finishing been better on some half chances, we probably could have conceded. Big up Tommy Setford, you know, getting an, you know, getting his debut and keeping a clean sheet on such. And you can say what you want about Arteta and his record with youth players and maybe could do more, but Ethan's getting minutes. Lewis Skelly's getting minutes. Jack Porter played in the last round. Setford played this game. He even came off the bench and I'm probably missing somebody else out. He's given Nick calls his debut as well so yeah we got to see the Haylanders you know Gabriel Jesus got a goal and assist forgive me if I'm wrong and he looked good man he was popping all about the pitch probably could have even scored a couple of his own did very well in general I think Saka looked very looked very well when he came off the bench obviously lovely from Kai to get the third big up Ethan for the first and obviously Jesus for the second no Jesus got this Jesus got the first apologies people um so yeah man we got the goals Minutes were put into the legs for, you know, the, the more experienced players that are on the peripheral things. Uh, young players got minutes. So it's all in all great, really and truly. You know, Kivio, great with his passes. Whether he could do that in the Premier League or under real pressure. Even some of his runs off the ball, I think he looked good. I'm not going to lie, you know. You should do against Preston with the greatest of respect. But I think Zinchenko looked good. I think Kivio looked good. I think Saliba kept doing what he's doing. You know, I think Partey did well off the bench. And equally, I think I think Timber's passing was a bit so-so. But I think Timber was quite good in the first half. I think Jorginho kept things ticking over when he could. Uh, Mire Mikel Moreno in the first 45 minutes that he played did well. So, yeah, I think everyone did well. I think... I don't think Sterling was bad in the first half, but I think it was a mixed bag. Like, you're very predictable on the right-hand side. I can't tell Mikel Arteta anything about, you know, football and that. But for me, I've been saying it. I think Raheem Sterling is better on the left. I think Martinelli had more presence and he was technically involved in the first goal from, the, you know, to deliver the, the, the corner. But I think Martinelli's footballing IQ needs to improve. But... Yeah, I think Sterling was so-so in the first half. In the second half, off the left, I've been saying it. For me, I think he's better on the left. I think he's, he just looks a bit better, you know. And I think it was a more of a confident performance from Sterling in the second half. He pressed better, he won the ball back better. Overdone it at times, but he looked to force the issue. And, you know, you would have seen several times in both halves, like, you know, when it was cleared off the line, when maybe there was a pen shout. Sometimes it's not just, it's just not your day, really. So, I don't think Sterling is knocking on the door for starting. I don't think we're, there's light at the end of the tunnel. But I think, you know, Gabriel Jesus did well. Just needs to score 40 more goals, people. My YouTube channel is saved. If you know, you know. So, yeah, man. Lewis Skelly did well. You know, credit to Preston, to be fair, because we deserved our three goals. But I think they gave as good as they got. I think they, even when they got caught playing out from the back when we press high, I think they did well playing out from the back. I think they were compact. I think there was pride in the shirt. Wouldn't necessarily say there was a dirty side, although several of their players were leaving late ones on our players. You know, Lewis Skelly, maybe in the Premier we would have had a pen for the challenge of Lewis Skelly as well, but... Lewis Skelly, Kai Havertz, Mikel Moreno were definitely on the receiving end of some late tackles, but... Yeah, man, I'm sure Preston will be disappointed. But with the greatest of respect to Preston, I don't care about that. I'm just through to the next round. And the one thing you want to see in games like this, I know you wouldn't have liked to have seen Saka or party, but you want it to be plain sailing. You don't want it to be, you know, a Premier League club comes to comes to Preston. It's a giant killing. It's backs against the wall performance. You have to exert a lot of pressure. We're just professional. You know, we did have some half chances before we even scored, scored the first, where it felt like we just needed a bit more quality in the final third. But... Yeah, man, three goals through to the next round. No injuries, clean sheet. Young players impressed all in their relative minutes. I think every player did well. I'd say Sterling's the level below, really. Some of them, but better second half. Did well. I don't think anyone's 
putting pressure on the starters in the, in the team. But yeah, the action goes to Newcastle now, people. In the cup, we part that off and we keep going. Now to focus on a difficult Newcastle test, who are going to be in good spirits after dumping Chelsea out in the cup, people. Obviously, the cup and the Premier League are two very different things, but you get the point. As much as I like offering my thoughts, I want to hear yours. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Peace. <laughs>